Alright, hey YouTube, uh, kind of figured I had a wheel bearing going out on me and got uptown and it was making some really bad noise. So I'm like, no, nah, I gotta get this bugger home before it goes completely out. I'm on the corner going to my place and as you can tell, it's totally shot. So I gotta get the truck jacked up, try and get that tire straight and somehow get home. It's completely towed out, about ready to fall off. So I'm gonna go grab a jack and try and get that fixed. But yeah, it's a wheel bearing. So that's why you don't ever want to be driving down the highway and have a wheel bearing uh, go completely bad on you because that tire will fly right off there and then you're in really big trouble. All right guys, got the truck back to the uh, house here. Took and jacked it up. Then uh, put a sled, or put a uh, plastic sled under the tire, it seems I was locked up. That way it slid on the snow. And then I was able to drive it. I was able to drive it over here. So now I gotta change out the wheel bearing uh, tomorrow. Or probably get help from my brother and uh, get it changed out so all good got her over here with the help of a uh, neighbor grateful grateful for that very grateful so yeah don't ever have a wheel bearing go out uh, when you're going down the highway or you will be in big trouble and in the ditch maybe cause an accident all right hey guys so this is what it looks like when your wheel bearing goes out. I don't know if you can see that right, right in there, all that shiny. There we go. There's a good look at her. Yeah, that's not good. That's your uh, bearing, part of your bearing. So that sucker is toast, toast, toast. Oh, well, get her off, get a new part ordered. Well, I'll get the new part ordered, let that get here, and then we'll uh, change it out. I'll show you guys what it looks like, hopefully, when we get her done. All right, guys, got the uh, tire off. And next thing we're going to want to do to replace the uh, wheel bearing is get this cotter key out of here and then take off the, uh, pull it down through the bottom and then take off the castle nut, which is this big thing, this big one. So we'll pull that off and then we'll go from there. Yeah, you can see everything's not tight at all. Okay, so we got the uh, cotter key out, got the castle nut off. And next we got to remove uh, a couple bolts from the back side of the caliper. One here and one over here on the other side. I'm not going to lay under there and show you guys, but there's two you got to remove to get this off here. Alright, so on the back side of your caliper, you want to undo this bottom bolt. And then that top one right here. And it's super cold out, so I'm trying to get this done quick. But you got to undo those two and uh, take the uh, brake caliper off, set it up somewhere where it's not going to fall on the ground, bungee cord it, whatever you got to do to keep it out of the way. Is it recording? Uh huh. Alright, so we got the two bolts out. I should be able to. Lift up on that, get that undone. Now we gotta set it up somewhere. And bungee cord that little bugger. Anyways, we've just bungee corded that to the trailing arm, hold it in place. So next we gotta take off which bolts? These four? 
One, two. I think there's four of them back there we gotta undo. Pull the ropes. So next we gotta pull off the uh, brake rotor. Just slides right off. I'll set that off to the side somewhere. Alright, so here is what's left of the uh, bearing, or non-bearing, put it that way. Pretty much nothing left. It is toasted. Alright, next we got to pull these three bolts here. One here, one here, and then one up on the, uh, on the other side. Basically over there. Yeah, they're uh, 12.916. So we're pulling them, pull them out, and then I'll uh, check back in. All right, so that's our uh, bearing and everything right there. That's what's left, pretty much toasted. Got the third bolt out, pried this apart. Got her apart, and that's what the inside looks like. It's, uh, quite a mess. So that right there is what's left of my bearing. We're trying to get it off there so we can put the new one on. So, yeah. And here's the new one. If you want to undo this, I can show. So here's our new uh, bearing assembly here. Your outside wheel studs, inside threads, and everything. Just slide right on hopefully, line up. Now I got to straighten the up. Yeah. We gotta get the, uh, gotta get the hub straight. Alright. Now that should slide on, and then we'll uh, bolt everything up, put your three bolts back, and pretty much do everything in reverse. That's how it's done.